Uh, hello everyone. Today we are going to look at the fourth game of the 77th Meiji title match between Toyoshima, who is a challenger and two crown champion, against the defending champion Sato Amahiko Meiji. At this point in the match, Toyoshima led 3-0. As we go through the game, pause the video after I ask questions and try to find the answer before proceeding. We have a bishop exchange opening. I noticed that black wasn't able to exchange pawns in the second file yet. Instead of 7 8 gold, if he pushed, what counterattack did white have? 8-6 pawn, and if the silver takes, white is better. If the knight takes instead, 8 8 bishop. Okay, instead of 3 4 rook, if he pulls it back with 2 8 rook, then again we have this 8 8 bishop idea. A 6 7 bishop is also possible. In any case, it's better for white. So after 8-6 pawn, if he takes with the pawn, uh, then what? 3-3 three, three bishop. If he pulls the rook back with 2-8 rook, then we can make use of the bishop being on 3-3 three, three with 8-8 eight, eight pawn, killing the knight. I have three four rook instead and two eight pawn and killing another knight. Okay, so in the game Toyoshima played seven eight gold. So we have a bishop exchange with reclining silvers. Six five pawn. This creates a space on six four for white to drop his bishop. The bishop works well on both sides of the board. Can you explain why? It threatens uh, silver on 4-4 take, taking the knight, pawn takes, and bishop takes lance. Also later on when he gets more pawns in hand, he can play 8-6 pawn, uh, pawn takes, and 8-5 pawn. So not an ideal 
position for the ghoul to be in, but it does defend against the silver takes knight threat. How did black proceed? One five pawn. One five pawn. There's a weakness on the edge. And one four pawn. Uh, instead of this, one three pawn is also possible. If you've never seen this type of edge attack before, it's worth remembering because it happens a lot. So the threat is for black to simply take the pawn here in 1-5. So it can't be ignored. If the lance takes, then 1-2 bishop, threatening a breakthrough with 2-3 bishop promote. If the knight takes instead, then just 1-5 lance, uh, threatening 1-4 pawn. This is good for black. Uh, Toyoshima instead played 1-4 pawn. Instead of 5-2 king, if he took the pawn, 2-5 bishop, uh, threatening the lance. Uh, no way to defend it. So he had to let Toyoshima take the pawn, 5-2 king. Just defend the edge. This is a little better for black. So now that the lance is out of the way of the long diagonal, the goal's position can be improved. This bishop drop is hard to defend against. If 4-3 silver, it defends the pawn, but the head of the bishop can get attacked. Uh, this is better for black. If he takes the pawn instead, 6-5 pawn, hitting the bishop again. So in the game he played 8-6 pawn. So we can see why he pushed 8-6 pawn earlier, so he could at least uh, take at this point. Uh, instead of, uh, let's go back a couple of moves. Instead of 6-5 pawn, that was actually a stronger move. Uh, can you find it? 3-5 pawn. This puts pressure on the third file while trying to pry open the diagonal for the bishop. If he takes a pawn, good for black. If he takes with the silver instead, Also good for black. And instead of 2-4 gold, if 3-2 gold, black has a really nice light move. Can you find it? 3-1 token. And after rook takes, notice that the pressure on the 
eighth file has been alleviated so it gives them time for 6-6 six, six silver if the gold moves to 2-2 two, two, uh, then what's the next move this is really nice for one token okay if the king takes then the silver on 4-3 falls so rook takes 6-6 six, six silver and we attack the head of the bishop better for black instead of pawn takes pawn if silver takes pawn uh, the bishop's diagonal isn't opened so how does black follow up 2-7 bishop just repositioning the bishop uh, what is the threat notice that the bishop is aiming toward the rook so next he can take on 5-3 with the knight and promote it with check and then he takes the rook after uh, he can either do that or throw in 3-3 three, three pawn first so if he tries to block the diagonal with 5-4 silver And now there's an attack on the diagonal. Look at all that pressure. What is Black's threat? Uh, let me pass a move. Uh, it's 8-2 pawn and if the rook takes it then this fork but if he moves the rook out of the way let's say with 6-1 rook then the knight falls instead of 7-8 token if he takes on 6-6 six, six, uh, this is winning for black They're threatening Nate on 5-2. Okay, so that was a 3-5 pawn variation. Uh, in the game, Toyoshima played 6-5 pawn. Notice in this position, black doesn't have the 2-7 bishop idea since white's rook is out of the way. So there's no way to defend the lance and black has to start something quickly. Uh, what should he play? In the game, Toyoshima played 5-5 five, five silver, which ends up giving him compensation for material. It was stronger to play 3-3 three, three pawn if knight takes. Just prime open the diagonal. better for black instead of 5 to gold if he pulled the silver back and then just 4 5 silver piling up pressure on 3 4 
And if four four silver, then just four three gold. better for black. I have six seven pawn instead. Again better for black. Okay. Instead of three three pawn, Toyshima played five five silver. Okay, so the threat is four four pawn, five two silver, three four bishop. Black has compensation for the material. And now Sato missed his chance to make things about even again. Uh, can you find the move? In the game, he took the lance, which was a mistake. Instead of this, if 8 6 pawn, this is better for him. If pawn takes pawn. The threat is just to take the lance here. White is better. So instead of taking on 8-7, if 7-1 rook. Pawn anchored gold. Again, this is better for white. There's threats of 4-7 uh, pawn promote and also taking the lance. There's a lot of bad Aji around Black's king. And instead of 4-4 four, four pawn, if 5-6 gold. This is better for white. And if 8-7 pawn, uh, by taking the bishop, it this takes the sting out of 4-4 four, four pawn. White's king is safe while putting pressure on blacks. White is better. Uh, in the game, Sato took this lance. And now what's the next move? 5-6 gold. Just moving the gold out of the way threatening to take the silver and also threatening 8-6 lance, trapping the rook. Black has attacking ideas like 2-2 two -two pawn or 3-3 three -three pawn, but before this he played a great move. What was it? 8 8 king, making the king a lot safer before beginning the attack. Ok, 
Okay, attack and defense. Black has a Tesuji. Can you find it? 6-3 pawn. Very severe. If he pulls the gold back with 6-1 gold, okay, forking the bishop and the silver. And now what's the next move? Takes the silver. This is winning for black. Uh, the threat is 4-3 silver drop. Let me pass a move. Winning. If the king takes it instead, White's going to get mated. Instead of 5 2 king, if 3 4 king, and there's 2 5 silver, mate. And if he interposes with a pawn, just takes it with the rook. And mate. In the game, Sato took the pawn with the gold. How did Toyoshima finish things off? 2 5 rook. If he takes it with the horse, what's the next move? Very nice 3 3 pawn. If the king takes it, let me mate like this. If the pawn takes, then just 5-1 silver drop. And if 4-1 pawn, this is winning. If the silver takes a token, uh, there's going to be a mate soon. Horse will have to take it. If he moves the king out of what, the way, let's say to 6 to king. Yeah, it's going to be mate. In the game, he took with the gold. And now he just cuts off the running square. 3-4 pawn. And after this move, white resigned. If king 6 1, 5 2 silver, and now he can just take the gold, threatening mate on 7 2. If the gold takes, he can just recapture. And now, what's the next move? 4-3 silver. And mate. If 6 do king. Just threatening to take the silver. If he defends by dropping the gold, uh, then what's the next move? Yeah, you can just take it. If silver takes, then mate. King takes, mate this way. So with a match score of 4-0, to zero, Toyoshima became the new Meijin and three crown champion. Thank you for joining me today. Any questions or comments can be left down below. 
If you learned something from this, please give the video a like, remember to subscribe, and let others know about this channel. If you'd like to further support the channel with donations, you can do so by clicking on the Streamlabs link in the description. Donations are not necessary, but are always welcome. Bye.